Excuse me? Is this the meeting of Alley Cats Anonymous? Cooler! Oh, and I see you've started the festivities without me. Rats! I miss all the fun! <laughs> Oh, uh, really, Bright Eyes and I would just love to stay and party with you kitties, except, uh, hey, we're allergic to catnip. <laughs> Ciao for now. But let's do lunch real soon, okay? Oh, thanks, Cooler. You saved my life. <laughs> anytime, Bright Eyes, anytime. But just tell me one thing. Where have you been? We've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry, Cooler. I've just been out wandering around, hoping to find myself a home. I sure wish somebody would adopt me. And as fearless leader of the Pound Puppies, it's my sworn duty to help this pup get adopted into a hap hap happy home. <laughs> Cooler, you're a kook. And so the heroic kook carries the fair damsel dog in distress back to the puppy pound where a big surprise is awaiting her. She may find a new home yet, because today, people from all over are coming to the pound to adopt pound puppies. Oh, bright eyes. I knew you'd make it back for the big day. <laughs> what day is it, Howler? It's Arbor Day. No, no, it's Labor Day. No, or is it Groundhog Day? Or it's, uh, it's, it's, oh, it's Adoption Day. This is it, Adoption Day. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Day. This could be my big chance. Do you think I'll get adopted, Rosemary? Do you? It's a possibility, Bright Eyes, honey. That's why, on Adoption Day, it's important for all of us pups to look our little old best. Of course, for me, looking my best comes naturally. <laughs> You know, Bright Eyes, I've been adopted lots of times. Honest and truly, Whopper? Sure. Once, I was adopted by a man, a, a spaceman. Yeah, he was a man in the moon, and he had a big house, or a mansion. Yeah, make that a yacht. So we sailed around the world to Milwaukee. To Miami. No, no, to the moon. Right. Whopper, I do believe you and your little old story are all wet. <laughs> you know, Holly, not only are you the only human I know who can talk to dogs, but you also give the greatest belly rubs on Earth. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm so glad you brought Bright Eyes back to the pound safe and sound. Uh oh, sounds like trouble. Arr, arr, run for your lives! It's coming this way! What is it, Howler? It's hideous. It's monstrous. It's the worst thing in the whole wide world. It's, uh, it's, uh, arr, it's Katrina Stoneheart! My loving guardian. Along with her spoiled, rotten daughter, Bratina, and her pet, Catgut. Auntie Katrina, what an, an unexpected surprise. And we've brought an unexpected surprise for you, sweet Holly. Your pound's electric bill. Yeah, yeah, read it and weep. I owe $200 for electricity? How can that be? Oh, I must have left the lights on in the tunnel again. You do have enough money, don't you, Holly? Well, not at the moment. Nya, nya, Holly's broke. Nya, nya, she's a joke. You'll see, Bertina. Today's adoption day. When people adopt puppies, they usually make donations. You'd better hope they make large donations, dear, because if you don't pay that bill, the pound will be shut down. Nya, nya, shut it down. Bye-bye, puppy pound. And the property will automatically be turned over to me. I'll have the money by tonight, Auntie Katrina. Don't bet on it, Holly. Once my little plan is complete, you can kiss your sweet puppy pound goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> because it's time for the great pound puppy adoption extravaganza. Maestro, a drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on what's behind the curtain. Oh. Yes, sirree. These pound puppies are ready to be adopted. So step right up and make 
a little puppy's dream come true. Oh, so who wants to get adopted anyway? Well, guys, it looks like the donations will pay for the electric bill. But what about poor little old pitiful bright eyes? Let's face it, I'll never find a home of my own. Hey, bright eyes, come on, dry those baby blue eyes. The day will come, and when it does, this is what we'll all be singing. Goodbye, bright eyes. Hey! Goodbye, bright eyes. Yeah! Goodbye from all us guys, we hate to see you go. Oh, yeah! yeah. Hey friends, allow me to introduce myself, Samuel Quentin, famous Hollywood director. My card? I'm searching for a dog, a very special dog, a dog who will star in my next major Hollywood production. Say, what about that pup over there? What grace, what emotion, what an actress! But Bright Eyes isn't acting. She's crying because she's sad. Well, she won't be sad for long, because I'm going to make her a star. Hey, Bright Eyes, don't look now, but you've just been adopted. Really? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> well, gang, I guess this is it. Goodbye, Howler. <laughs> I hate goodbyes. They make me very emotional. And when I get emotional, I can't, I can't, I can't control my, my, my howling. Oh, now don't forget, sugar. Send me all the gossip from Hollywood. Okay? You bet, Nosebury. And give my regards to, to Godzilla. Yeah, he's a, a close personal friend of mine. I will, Whopper. And, uh, Bright Eyes, if you run into those alley cats again, you know where to find me, right? Right, Cooler. You know, it's funny. I always thought leaving here would be the happiest moment of my life. But leaving you guys makes it the saddest. <laughs> I surely hope everything works out fine for Bright Eyes. <laughs> yeah, me too, Nose Marie. But I have a funny feeling that something bad is about to happen. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Good evening, Holly dear. How did adoption day go? Very well, Auntie Katrina. Did you make enough money to pay your electric bill? Ha, huh? did you? Ha, ha, did you? As a matter of fact, Bertina, we made more than enough. Take a look for yourself. What? The money, it's gone! Oh. It's not here! The money's gone! Oh, that's too, too bad, Holly. Now, what are you going to do? I, I don't know! Well, you'd better think of something, dear. Because if that bill isn't paid in one week, I'm afraid you'll lose the pound to me. Sakes cooler, whatever shall we do? Why, if we don't come up with that money in a little old week, they'll close down the pound. Alas and alack, we'll all be homeless. But, Nose Marie, we already are homeless. That's why we live in the pound. Oh, well then, never mind. Hey, hey, listen, guys, don't worry about a thing. I know this rich guy who can just give us the cash. Oh, yeah? Who? He, he's the president. Uh, no, no, the king. No, what? He's the emperor of Mars. Yeah, yeah, he rules the entire planet. And he's really, really rich. In, in fact, he's the richest uh, Martian who ever lived. Also, he's my very best friend in the whole wide world. Well, one time he gave me a hundred, uh, a, a thousand, uh, a million, a curb billion dollars. And I became the wealthiest dog in the whole universe. I squandered my fortune on dog biscuits. I hate to burst your bubble whopper, but I think you're yanking our tails again. But I do know someone who's rich cooler. That big Hollywood director who adopted Bright Eyes. 
Whopper, you zany nut, you're a genius! I am? Absolutely. That director is loaded, and Bright Eyes is gonna be his next big star. She can get the money for us. That's where Howler comes in. Oh, oh, me? Oh, uh, why? What? Where? What? When? How? How? Uh, uh, exactly. We need your Howler to send a long-distance Howlergram to Samuel Quentin, famous movie director. Oh. Hollywood, California. Oh, 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 oh. Dear Bright Eyes, I'll go stardom. Are you rich yet? We hope so, because we need moolah and pronto, or they'll close down the pound. Please send us cash as soon as possible. Your old pal, Cooler. Samuel Quentin. What do they say? No trace of Samuel Quentin in Hollywood. In fact, they've never heard of him. I do declare. But if he didn't go back to Hollywood, then where'd he take Bright Eyes? Maybe he's shooting his next movie in some exotic location. Like London, or Paris, or maybe even Milwaukee! Milwaukee, Milwaukee, everybody talking about Milwaukee, Milwaukee! Whopper, this is no time for Whistling Dixie. We have to find Bright Eyes! Now, Bright Eyes, this is where we'll be shooting our first scene. Just take a look at that gorgeous set, and remember where the cameras are. They'll be following your every move, you little actress, you. <laughs> now, in this first scene, you'll be getting ready for the costume ball. So you'll go into your boudoir and dress up like Cleopatra, covering yourself with jewels. Understand, sweetie? All right, then. Roll camera. Ready? And... Action! Yes, yes! Now make your grand exit! Cut! Print! Perfect! We've hit the big time, Bright Eyes! A star is born! Fortune and gems. Say, that dog looks a lot like Bright Eyes. <laughs> Wild, huh? <laughs> Here comes Auntie Katrina back from the store. Bertina, Cat Got, I'm home. Hi, Mommy Dearest. Some guy named Sammy Quentin called to say hello. Sammy Quentin? The famous Hollywood director? Sammy Quentin. Oh, yes. He's that clown I hired to pay a visit to the pound. Uh oh. That's the dude who adopted Bright Eyes. Yes, thanks to good old Sammy Quentin, Holly is never going to pay her electrical bill, and that pound will be all mine. <laughs> oh, mine! That's where the money from Adoption Day went. Trina sent Sammy Quentin here to snatch it. And now Sammy's leading Bright Eyes into a life of crime. She always takes such a nice picture, though, doesn't she? But we've got to do something to help her. Something daring, something courageous, uh, something... Uh, wacko. That's the spirit, Howler. Pound puppies, let's start pounding! Guys, good luck! Here it is, crew. The Bark and Growl Cafe. Okay, let's move out. B but who are who? Uh, what, what? When? Where? Uh, how? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Why are we going in there? Because this is where all the tough dogs in town hang out. That's the reason not to go in there. Yeah, but if anyone can tell us where to find a crook like Sam Quentin, these mutts can. Hey, you wacky mutts! <laughs> what's shaking? <laughs> oh, my knees, that's what's shaking. Have no fear! Wonder Whopper will protect you! But first, 
Wonder Whopper must make an emergency trip to uh, Venus. So long. Uh oh. Cool. Sweetheart. Sugar Plum. What are we gonna do? Hey, Nose Marie, come on, trust me. <laughs> I'll get us out of this, no problem. <gasps> <laughs> Did I say no problem? Before we play kick the can with your fuzzy little hides, does he have any last requests? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do have one request. Let's do the twist! <laughs> Who the nice little puppy doggies like you doing in the crummy joint like this? We're looking for a shady character named Sam Quentin. Do you know him? You mean Quick Fingers Quentin? Yeah, we know him. We'd all like to see him get his. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Our sentiments exact the mundo. So do you have any idea where we can find this Quentin fella? Hey, for you fancy dancers here, yeah, I'll have the boys sniff him down on the double. Yeah. That's Quentin's hideout, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'd know his rotten sin anywhere. Here comes our big fish. He's taking the bait. Mission Bright Eyes is underway. <laughs> oh. Psst. Hey, Bright Eyes, how about an autograph? Cooler. <gasps> Nose Marie. Shh. We don't want to disturb the great Hollywood director. Yeah, so tell us, kid, what's it like being a famous actress? Oh, it's so boring. All I do is sit around all day waiting for my next scene to be shot. Well, your last performance got rave reviews, darling. It was in just all the papers. Dog steals fortune in gems. Oh, oh no. Oh, what have I done? Upsetting, isn't it? I'll say. This picture could ruin my career. Well, that settles it. I'm retiring from show business. And not quite yet, Bright Eyes. To clear your name, you have to give a final farewell performance. Oh, very well. I suppose I owe it to my public. Uh, yeah. So, here's what I want you to do. I like it. I like it! <laughs> what? Katrina Stoneheart buys world's largest ruby? I don't believe it! My old friend Katrina! <laughs> this should be like taking candy from a baby! <laughs> Oh, Bright Eyes, I've just found your next starring role. In fact, we'll start filming tonight. I wouldn't miss it for the world. In this scene, Bright Eyes, your loving master has been locked out of the house, so you sneak inside through the kitty door and unlock the window and let him in. Got it? Oh, good. Then roll cameras. Ready? And action! was perfect! Hey! What's going on here? Allow me to explain. In this scene, Sammy, uh, Quick Fingers Quentin, tries to steal a ruby. The only problem is, there is no ruby. It's all a big joke. Ha! What? That's right, Sammy. You've been tricked by some of your old friends. All the dogs you've led astray, all the dogs you forced into doing your dirty work. And now these dogs are throwing you a big surprise bash. Ready, Sammy? Then roll camera and action. Stop lying and go call the police. Yes, sir, Mommy Dearest. Aha! What? <laughs> Sammy Quentin, what are you doing here? I wish I could tell you, Katrina.
Katrina, but I've got to fly. So long, you mangy mice. Oh, I give up. You got me. It's a wrap. Sammy Quickfinger Squinton, you're under arrest for the robbery of the Main Street Jewelry Store. Say, Mummy Dearest, isn't that Sammy Quentin the guy you sent to rob the money from the pound papa? Um, yes, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, what Bratina meant, dear, is that, um, yeah. Oh, don't worry, Aunt Katrina. I wouldn't dare tell the police about your dealings with a wanted criminal. My lips are sealed. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, how nice, Holly, that's a good girl. And thanks to the reward money we're getting for the capture of Quick Fingers Quitten, we'll be able to pay that electric bill. The puppy pound can stay open. Great news. Hi, Auntie Katrina. Just ducky. Well, Bright Eyes, welcome back. And until something better comes along, honey lamb, welcome home. Thank you all so much. I guess I never realized till now how much you guys really mean to me. You're the greatest. Wonder Whopper couldn't agree more. And we're all pretty crazy about you too, Bright Eyes. So remember, a one, a two, stay hip, Bright Eyes. Yeah. Don't flip, Bright Eyes. Yeah. Stay hip with all of us guys. It's great to have you home. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's the Pound Puppy Pet Care Corner. Howdy, sports fans. Cooler here with a couple of words about staying in shape, puppy style. You know, us pups aren't thrilled about being cooped up all day. Please play with me. Oh. Give your dog a break. Have some fun with him at least once a day. Here, Howard, let's play fetch. Oh, boy. Make sure your dog gets regular exercise. He'll be healthier and live longer, too. <laughs> 